To run a successful business, an entrepreneur needs to get, number one, give excellent service. Uh, number two, charge fairly. Number three, stand behind the work he's doing. And the business will grow and not just try to artificially grow the business and say, we expect more customers. And do not try and, and have shortcuts. I think shortcuts are really a bad thing. I think you need to work hard. You need to work overtime. Uh, you need to take care of your customers and avoid shortcuts. For someone to be a great entrepreneur, first and foremost, they have to want to be an entrepreneur. It starts off with having this, this vision, being able, willing to take the risk associated with entrepreneurship, not being afraid to, to fail. Someone that realizes I can't do this on my own, but if I build the team to do this with me, that's when we're going to be successful. I think the thing that separates really effective entrepreneurs uh, from the ones that aren't as effective is the ability to recognize when you've made a mistake and the willingness to change course and ultimately take your business in a different direction. When I think about the entrepreneurs that Kansas City has, there's so many great ones, and then I think about our sports teams, uh, both in and of themselves are amazing and they're both important to our ecosystem. To be able to feed off each other and take the entrepreneur spirit and the ability to run a business and have a vision for success and match it with the intensity, commitment, and integrity of the athletes, the professional athletes right here in Kansas City, to say, we're going to marry this up and we're going to make it amplify into just a bigger moment for Kansas City. I mean, I think being an athlete and being engaged in sports, the competitive nature of that, the discipline um, that, that comes with you know being a college athlete um, does transition very well into entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship and sports, it all boils down to one thing, determination. You can be the smartest person, but if you don't have determination, it won't take you anywhere. You can be the most technological person, it won't take you anywhere. It requires determination and always fighting to win. So when you're on that pitch and we're watching those women trying to win a game and they're not there yet, but they don't give up the determination. And at the end, we see what determination gets you and you win the game, but it's only good till the next game because you're going to need that determination to keep going and going and going. You know, as a female athlete myself and those lessons I've learned through playing a sport and the lessons I've watched my daughters learn, leadership, goal setting, resiliency, teamwork. I mean, all of that is what makes an entrepreneurial successful. And I think sports plays such a significant role in that. It doesn't matter if you've played at a third grade level or a collegiate level or a professional level, those life lessons that you've learned through sport truly set people apart in leadership roles. For a, sp a team to be successful, uh, everybody has to be successful. And in some senses, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Uh, and I think that applies equally to businesses. That's why they go out and they, you know, when they, when they recognize they have a hole in their team, they go out and they recruit and they try to fill that hole. Or when an athlete recognizes they have a weakness, you know, it was one of the great things about Michael Jordan. They talked about how, you know, when Michael recognized he had a weakness, he spent all his time working on that weakness until something else was his weakness. At UMKC's Henry W. Block School of Management, we encourage, cultivate, and teach entrepreneurship. We also celebrate excellence. Tonight, we celebrate five extraordinary honorees for their incredible achievements. Each are revolutionary thinkers, dreamers, and doers, making strides as they forge their own path to success, all of whom show undeniable heart and soul. This year's recipients of the Kansas City Entrepreneur of the Year Award are Chris Long, founder and CEO of Palmer Square Capital Management, and Angie Long, CIO of Palmer Square Capital Management. Together, they are the co-founders and owners of the Kansas City Current Soccer Team. Our Marion and John Kramer Award for Social Entrepreneurship is presented to David Johnson, founder of Chicken and Pickle and CEO of Maxis Realty Trust. Our 2023 Henry W. Block International Entrepreneur of the Year and UMKC Entrepreneur Hall of Fame inductee is 
Marcelo Claure, founder and CEO of the Claure Group and founder of Brightstar. And finally, our Student Entrepreneur of the Year is Leslie Romo, a business administration student and bilingual real estate agent. Now let's hear from some of our best and brightest in their industries.